In this video, I will be going over steering angle sensors, also known as wheel speed sensors. I will be covering operation, function, some test options, and common problems. The purpose of the steering wheel angle sensor is to determine a driver's input to the steering wheel from left to right. The steering angle sensor looks at the steering wheel angle and the steering wheel speed. A vehicle's computer network then uses this information for a variety of systems, such as ABS, traction control, stability control, electronic steering, and others. The two most common types of steering angle sensors are analog and digital. For this video, I'll be looking at analog steering angle sensors. Now let's look at what steering angle sensors look like mechanically. Here we have two GM steering angle sensors. They are contained in plastic housings in which they attach to the steering column. These are the sensors themselves without the housing. They are three wire sensors. The middle has grooves that fit into the steering column and the center of the sensor moves as the steering column turns. The steering wheel angle sensor is usually found on the steering column. It may be placed behind the steering wheel or at the end of the column near the firewall. Now let's take a look at what a steering angle sensor looks electrically with this 2011 Lucerne. In this vehicle, the steering angle sensor is located in the back of the steering column. I now have a scan tool hooked up to this Buick Lucerne. Let's see what we got. The scan tool has two pids for the steering angle sensor. Unlike the sensors I showed earlier, this sensor has four wires. Two of the wires are sensor signal A and signal B. As I turn the wheel, the voltages go up and down. This is showing an analog signal. I then decided to tap into the signal circuit using a voltimeter. To do this, I tapped into signal A. Here's what I got. It looks exactly the same as the scan tool does. It hops around 2, 3 volts, then goes back down. Here it is as a oscilloscope format. As you can see, the voltages go up and down as I'm moving the wheel to one side. It moves from 5 volts to 0 volts. A good thing to do before you measure the voltages of the signals is see what your 5 volt reference is. So that's what I'm doing here. A big issue with steering angle sensors is sometimes they come out of calibration. You need to recalibrate them using a scan tool. Toyota calls this the zero point calibration. In testing the steering angle sensor, use what I've shown earlier in this video. For example, use a scan tool to see if the voltages have changed or if they're non existent. Use the oscilloscope to see if there's dips that shouldn't be there. And if all else fails, try recalibrating it. 